Hey, it's Dougie Wood, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can apply your own data validation to your Microsoft Excel spreadsheets. So in this case, we want to provide some instructions in here on what start time that you can enter, which has to be between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. And if it's anything before that or after that, we want to give the user of this spreadsheet a warning to let them know that the validation has been triggered. Now, to start this, all we need to do is select on the cells that you want to apply this validation to, and then select on the data tab across the top and select the data validation underneath it. This will give us a little pop-up window and under allow, what we wanted in this case is we're gonna select time because it's time bound um, that are particular restrictions. Then what we're gonna do is select the time um, that it's gonna start, which is 8 a.m. and what time it's gonna end, which is 5 p.m. So these are our limits. Once we're happy with that, um, what we're going to do is select the input message. And within this, this is where we're gonna put a little title so this is going to be instructions and a bit of an input message. So please enter a time between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. And this is going to act as our tool tip, which will give people information. We're also going to specify an error alert message. So this is under style. We're going to select on uh, stop and our title. We're going to put in here um, that there's a wrong time. And the error message will be please enter a time between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. All we then need to do is click on OK. And just to test this, we're going to input um, some options across the top. So starting off, we'll put in some ones which will be fine. So 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 1 p.m. But let's try something which is outside of that time. Now you can see the tooltip has already appeared, but I've tried to now enter something which is after the 5 p.m. we selected, which is 7 p.m. And you can now see an alert has popped up, say the wrong time has been entered. If you found that useful, please subscribe to my channel and please watch the next video which is on the page here for another excellent Microsoft Excel tip.